The ranking is used in the event, so in the end of the event, every player gets points depending on the player's final standing position and the settings within the rankings. In ranked in, we use the word organization, and by that we mean it's a sports club, a federation, a group of friends, or a company. In order to create a ranking, you need to have an organization. You can check how to create an organization in one of my previous videos. Just to remind you, when you create an organization, you also create the first ranking for that organization. You can access the ranking from the organization manager. All you need to do is open the organization homepage, go to the organization manager, and in the ranking section, you can find the ranking for the organization itself. Click the ranking manager button if you need to modify some settings for the ranking. You can access the ranking points from this page as well. All you need to do is click on go to the ranking button. You can add more rankings in this organization if you need it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a ranking using a previously created organization. The first thing that you need to click on is the create button on the top of the website. You click on the ranking button from the submenu and then click the create button on the pop-up that appears. In this page, you see all the organizations that you own. In my case, it's just one, so I'll just select that one. Uh, make sure that you select the one that you need. The next step is adding the name for the ranking. I'll just name it Tutorial Ranking 2. The final step is to select the privacy policy for the ranking and uh, I need to give you a little bit of advice, you've got three options here. The first one is the open one, which means that the players can add the ranking you create within their events without your permission. The second one is with a closed privacy policy. That means that only you as an admin can create the event using this ranking. And finally, the third and most used option is the privacy policy with permission. In this case, everyone can create an event using your ranking, but you as an admin should approve it. Otherwise, the player that is trying to create the event with this type of ranking will not be able to start the tournament. After filling all the necessary information, you just click on the Create button and you're all done. The page you see is the ranking page. Currently it's empty because, well, there's not an event played for this ranking yet. When the event that uses this ranking is finished, the players will see the points for everyone that participated within the event. And just to note, the points are refreshed every Monday. You can access the ranking homepage by typing the ranking name within the search bar and selecting it from the ranking results. A ranking can be shared on your website as well. All you need to do is click the embed button, copy the code and paste it on your website. The next thing that you can do is modify the advanced settings for the ranking. You can access those settings by clicking on the yellow cogwheel in the right upper corner. This button is only visible for the admin. In this page, we've got more settings and uh, let's start with ranking details. In order to change some settings, the first thing that you need to do is click the edit button. The first field is for changing the name of the ranking. The second one is about the privacy policy. I explained about that previously within the video. The next one, best amount of private challenges, is for the number of private challenges that will go towards the ranking. By default, this is set to unlimited, but you can just click on it and set a number of private challenges monthly. The next three settings are the same as the previous one, but they're just for another type of events. The points expiration period in months defines how much time the points are going to stay active. By default, it's set to 12 months, and this means that 12 months after finishing the event, the points awarded for that event will be removed. The last settings from this part is allow private challenges. So, with this option, you can forbid players to get ranked for their private challenges. This is used by many federations that rank the players only by their official events. If you modify some settings, you just need to click the save button. The last and maybe the most important setting is the manage ranking points. Here, you create the levels for the ranking. Now, let's see how the tournament ranking points work. In this page, you have a predefined level. You can use them, modify them, or even delete them if you want. The numbers in the first row show the final standing positions for the players. The numbers under the points awarded for every player depending on the final position and the level selected by the admin. 
You can also create a new level. For example, I'll just create a level named Juniors and I will use this level every time I create a tournament for Juniors. Click save and you're ready to go. I'll just show you shortly where you can use these levels. As you can see, we have two different classes in the event. And I'd like to use a different level for both classes. For the seniors, I will select the predefined level. And for the juniors, I'll select the created level. In this case, I'm the owner of the organization, so I can select the levels. Otherwise, if you're not the owner of the ranking, you will have to wait until the admin selects them. You will not be able to close the sign-in until the levels are selected. I will show you in this case. In this tournament, I've selected a ranking from the organization that I don't own. You see, I'm not allowed to select the level, nor to close the sign-in. I will log in as the owner of the organization to show you how to select the level. I'll open the ranking page. Go to Ranking Manager using the cogwheel in the right upper corner and open the list of events. Now I can select the level for the classes. Now let's go back to the tournament. You see levels are selected. I will open the tournament homepage now. In the classes section, you can look at what level has been assigned to the class. Clicking on the points will develop a window showing the exact list of points that can be obtained for specific standing positions in the tournament. I'll now run my tournament and finish, but I will not present it in this video. You can check it out in one of my previous videos. The tournament has ended, now let's see what's in the results section. You see, there is a list of players listed according to the final positions. Players receive points towards the ranking according to the level that we assigned it to the class. It can happen on some draw types that two players like the same end position, for example, three quarters. They will receive the average of points from these two positions. Now, we have to wait until Monday and see how this tournament will affect our ranking. We've got next Monday and here's our ranking. As you can see, it now contains players from our tournament with ranking points. There are also two age groups, main main and junior. Thank you for watching my video and I invite you to our YouTube channel where you can find more instructional videos like this.